Mr. Ngatia, welcome back to the interview and uh, thanks for accepting once again to talk to Kenyans. Thank you. We are here once again uh, to seek your views on some of the latest issues affecting Kenya today. And uh, one big topic has been the question of the Chinese because the president Uru Kenyatta has gone back to China for another begging mission. The loans that have so far been borrowed by the Kenyan government, one of them to build the SGR, are loans that many Kenyans believe can never be repaid. Now, with this second trip to China by the president Uru Kenyatta, what is your view? Can you just tell Kenyans you know, what you think about this latest move. Thank you very much. To start with, let me tell Kenyans people the following. China is going nowhere. Whether you criticize them, whether you hate them, China is going nowhere. Why? Because China is the future superpower. They have bypassed America and any other power, and the Western power that has colonized Africa over 100 years. Take it or leave it. Even European countries, Western countries, are studying Chinese in their schools. Because, look here, China, it is you who need China. You are going there to borrow money, because Africa is like a beggar. You live on donation from the West. You have been colonized by the West over 100 years. Like Britain came to Kenya, colonized Kenya over 100 years ago. They have never built anything there. Only corrupt institutions. They have been training your army. They have been controlling you. You eat like them. You wear like them. You talk like them. You love London. So much. Now, they are, they are broke. If you don't know London is broke, the whole Western is down. Now power is in China. China is so super that militarily America cannot fight China. You see, in, China, in Asia, China see they are building islands. Islands. America just making noise, but they can't intervene. They can't do anything. China is so super. Uhuru Kenyatta came there with all other African leaders going there to beg because we should blame them. Our African leaders and the Uhuru are so corrupt. They went to beg money there. They have begged money from the West. Today, Kenya cannot afford to pay. So, you will be sold like slaves. Whether you like it or not, China is there to stay. Blame stupid, silly African leaders like Uhuru. Why should you go to China and accept their conditions worse than slavery? Blame Uhuru Kenyatta, who cannot protect our country. Kenya does not need aid. And the difference between ruling class capitalist system in Kenya and the Kenya Red Alliance that I lead is this. We take power today. We'll cut everything and start new negotiation. First and foremost, these elites, Bajua, elites that controls this country, cannot negotiate with foreigners. We have observed Kenya, even at the United Nations Security Council, when they are there, when they are voting, they are threatened by the West that gives us donor. When they are voting, look at them. They sit like cowards like this. When they are voting, 
They don't put hands up. They first of all look Britain, look West, look America, and if they are threatened, now they raise up their hands. When they see American where American and the West is fighting, now they raise their hands. That means they are cowards, they are idiots. They are forced. So we Kenya Red Alliance takes over. We shall call all these agreements null at the point. We will never pay in the loan. We will nationalize everything. We shall take Moy's money, Kibake's money, Kenyatta's money, and the other tycoons that have loaned money, and they pay with that money. That means we take power. We will never pay them. And if we want loans from these countries, we shall sit down and this talk on our conditions. Nobody will force Kenya to choose her friends. Time has is gone for where in the power to be forced Kenyans to choose our friends. Kenya has the right to choose our friends. If we don't like Chinese, it's up to us. If we don't like Westerners, it's our problem. There is nothing for free. Today our country is hopeless. Poverty in that country. Loan, we cannot repay loan. And then remember, if you loan own any bank money, you must pay. Even the Bible says you will be sold. You will be put in until every coin is paid. So we will never allow any power on earth to force us on anything. Look today, Kenyans are suffering the oil price in Kenya. And the Kenya is drilling oil in Turkana. Why is the price of oil going up? And then we have oil there. It is because the oil belongs, is in Kenya, is our oil, but it belongs to Tulu oil. Because we negotiated like slaves. People had the had the cars. We can't tell them the truth. Always we a bloody bloody African slave negotiating with his master. It will never work. Today and in the future, when you are negotiating with the foreigners, it must be under our conditions, whether they like it or not. If they can't dig oil, we kick them. If China cannot borrow us money, with our conditions, because we are the ones going to pay at our future. It is we who to set conditions, not them. Thank you.